Yeah, this uh, conference uh, is important uh, because of uh, the developments that's taking place in the region. And as you know, India is giving a lot of emphasis on the BIMSTEC and also the, on the blue economy in the Indo-Pacific region. And this kind of platform, uh, basically to exchange views and opinions are important, uh, basically to formulate uh, policies and programs for the region as, as such. Uh, this has been quite interesting also on the front that uh, we are bringing people from the different streams or backgrounds. Uh, you have the policy uh, makers, you have the private sector, you have the think tanks. So they are all meeting together to exchange views and opinions. So just diverse views definitely bring uh, in a more concerted effort to, to get into the real perspective that we can align our programs and policies. Uh, so here I see from the trade and investment facilitation angle because I represent uh, that part of uh, the body of knowledge. Uh, I see that uh, this kind of uh, meeting is giving us a lot of opportunities uh, to build collaboration. Uh, I stress on the point that uh, public sector uh, as well as the private sector opinion is most important. But uh, particularly looking into trade and investment, I think opinion of uh, private sector is keen to see what kind of uh, you know, trade investment uh, could be uh, uh, possible uh, in this kind of collaboration. Uh, although, as I mentioned, that uh, trade agreements are there in place, but we have very little uh, trade with ASEAN countries and there's a huge trade deficit, but I see as an opportunity. So let us look uh, at the opinion uh, of the private sector and work with them. Second, is uh, the evidence-based policy is important and how we bring this policy uh, uh, resolutions that we have come today uh, in this uh, forum uh, is uh, brought to the policy level that that kind of engagement is uh, uh, crucial and also give uh, opportunity for the young researchers to work uh, in different region not just uh, here from India but also go in the Mekong region work there and I also mentioned about reactivating SARC because uh, with the neighbor countries we need to do the first uh, trade so this is equally important so these are the key takeaways I, I, I have from this uh, conference today.